Good Monday evening, everybody. Come on in, come on in. Y'all know it's time to cook again. I am cooking tonight. I've already started. Perrine one of the steaks. I got him a nice uh, porterhouse steak cookie. You know, it's got to be cooked all the way through, so I had to start ahead of time. I just got it on one of these little, um, these are the individual steak platters or fajita platters. Gonna... I've been here cooking for about 10, 11 minutes already, so I'm just going to let it sit there and cook. Uh, and I've got him some corn with some brown sugar. And guess what I'm going to make for me, for moi? I am going to prepare plantains. I finally got Sonia brought me that nice plantains from um, the, I think she calls it the H Market in, um, I think Raleigh. So anywho, I'm going to go ahead and set my oven at 250, I'm sorry, 450 degrees. So I'm going to be cooking plantains, corn, and um, steak tonight. So what you have to do with these, so far that I understand, I had these um, carmen fix these when we were in, and I'm hoping these are ripe enough. I think they're ripe enough. We, oh yeah, they're ripe enough. This is so like a great big old banana. Well, it is a great big old banana, but it's a plantain. So what you have to do, and for, for y'all plantain baking experts, run and charge it. And I'm, I'm trying to just sort of do it by feel. And I'm thinking all I have to do is peel it, which I'm doing. I cut the ends off and I peeled it, okay? So I got two. I had to try to bring the two. Now, when I tasted the ones that Carmen prepared when I was in Virginia a couple weeks ago, it was delicious, and it made me want one, because I've always wanted to prepare them, but whenever I saw plantains, they were always, uh, seem like a dark, I don't know, weird color, and I never wanted to purchase them. So, uh, Tanya went to the real market up there in Raleigh, and she found, these are beautiful. These are just as pretty as any banana you want to see. So, I'm frying my hand at plantains. I'm looking forward to plantains. Mmm. Okay. Actually, y'all, it tastes like a regular banana to me. So, what I'm going to do, get my oven heated up. I'm going to go ahead and I guess the sugar uh, will come out of the banana. I don't guess I have to put no brown sugar on it, y'all, but y'all know I'm going to put some on there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, put some pan spray on my pan, okay? And I'm going to put them right on this little pan I've got here. Um, I'm going to spray my plantain. Put them just like so. And I think I'm going to score them a little bit. I think I, I just got the still because the ones that Carmen did, they will seem like to me they will cut like so. I'm just gonna do them like this. Is this all right, y'all? Am I doing this okay? I've even got the heat on under these. So Put right on, not all the way through, but just through enough. And I'm gonna put these babies in that 450 degree oven, and I'm just gonna let them bake and do what they do. Uh, I might even put me a little butter on there. I got my butter out and ready to go. So we're gonna put them in this oven at 450, and when they come out, I'll let you see what they look like. Okay, y'all, there it is, proud and pretty Kareem's dinner. Some nice creamy corn, ciabatta, toasted ciabatta bread with uh, ginger garlic and a nice good old porterhouse steak. So that's his dinner for tonight. Thank y'all for stopping by. Now I'm getting ready to bring up the rib with mine. So y'all hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back at it. Yep, bacon. My neighbor daughter, Cynthia, 
sprout me some bacon and it's that nice thick bacon. I haven't cooked real bacon in a while. I usually do the turkey bacon. But since I was doing the uh, plantains, I decided, you know what? I'm going to fry some bacon to go with those plantains. And I'll make you uh, a couple, just a half of a uh, ciabatta bread like I did for Kareem. And that's going to be my dinner tonight, y'all. So y'all hang with me. I'll get this bacon done, get me a plate going, and I'll be right back. You know, little quick meals like this a steak and some corn or a potato and a steak and some toast or something like that. It takes up less than 30 minutes to get it on the table. So, when you, uh, I just wasn't in the mood to cook a whole meal today since I cooked a, a pretty good sized meal for Sunday dinner. And then, of course, I'm thinking about the bacon. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't have a choice to try some good old bacon. So, anyway, this is just one of those quick meals. Um, but you can pick any day of the week. 30 minutes, you're out of the kitchen. You got something good going on. And I'm especially waiting on these plantains to get done out of the oven. They say you're done. I think you have to cook them about 20 minutes. I need to get them in and turn them over now. But I think maybe 10 minutes on each side and, and then they should be done. They're looking. I can't let y'all see them. Because I don't want to take them out of the oven. So what I'm going to do is try to just turn them over. And like I say, you professional plantain cookers, y'all know how this is done. They're looking good, y'all. Out. They're hot. But they're looking really, really good. Okay. Matter of fact, they look just like the ones that Carmen prepared for us. Nice and brown. Okay. Almost there, almost there. I'm just going to flip my bacon over here. Nothing prompts to get bacon out. Crusty bacon is wonderful. And I do just regular bacon. I do this every once in a while. I haven't done real bacon in years, I imagine. I've always have been buying the uh, turkey bacon. So this turkey bacon is really good, though. But, you know, the protein here, uh, this, you know, the protein uh, benefit that you get is good, so. I'm good to go, y'all. I'm good to go. I'm trying to behave myself still as far as eating is concerned. But I uh, just wanted to come back to while I'm talking, just to say, praying for those families who um, are still going through these weather situations in Kentucky and whatnot and anywhere else around the country. And I believe someone said something to me about uh, another shooting. You know, this has just gotten, gotten to be one of those things that every time you turn the radio on, Something is going on. There's just so many things going on. So we just that's why we establish ourselves and we out there praying without ceasing. Uh, we're diligent about that, about praying. So as long as we're praying, doing hands, touching on a dream, being kind to somebody, just doing something to make somebody's day can always be done through prayer. Even people that you don't know, we just pray for people in general. That's why corporate prayer is so important. That's why it's so good to fellowship with each other and to stay in contact with each other. So we can keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. So we're going to continue to pray without ceasing. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, prayer changes things. Prayer works. Little things, even. I've had so many blessings come my way this week that I can't help but to pray. I can't help but to be thankful and to be grateful. The word of God tells us in all things be thankful, and I try as best as I can. And I want to just continue to thank you all for um, viewing my channel, for giving me comments, compliments, suggestions, ideas, and all those things. So I'm grateful and thankful to you as well. So I'm going to uh, cut out for a minute here, get my bacon off and some griddle. I got about five more minutes on my plantains and we're going to have a finished product so hold on you know, something faded out on me i don't know anyway let's see. i don't know if maybe i'm running out of space or something let's get me a couple of these on the plate 
I'm not gonna eat all these, but we just wanna put them on the plate so they'll look all decorated and pretty. Okay. Here it is, y'all. Cup piece of ciabatta bread. And we're ready to get this thing going, y'all. So, I'm looking forward. There we go. I'm so looking forward to sitting mm. down eating this meal. This is my dinner for my Monday night meal. And I'm probably, you know, I'm going to get me some salsa going. I got some, um, some of my mango salsa and some of my uh, veggie salsa. So just hang tight. I'm going to get my salsa. I'll be right back. Just got these other variations, those red bananas. Have you ever seen red bananas? I thought those looked pretty. I just thought I'd like to make a little pretty picture with that. So listen, guys, keep those prayers going up to the blessings come down. Pray without ceasing. Be kind to someone. Do something, a word, a deed, a card, a letter, or even a phone call. But just remember, pray without ceasing for all the things that are going on in this world. And just thank God for the things that he has done and what he's going to do. Pray for somebody else. Pray for yourself as well. Join hands with somebody because remember, one can chase a thousand, but two can chase ten thousand. So until I decide to cook again, I think I'm gonna have uh, me one of those red bananas just to see what they taste like. Cause I, that'll be my fruit. So I'm gonna be double fruited up here tonight. So love you guys. Until I decide to cook again. Now toodles.